Even the machine screws that come in the accessory kit, they have logos on them. Like You know that you're buying good screws when the screws have logos engraved into them. Hey guys, I'm sitting down today to record a brief mini series where we're going to be opening up some stuff that viewers have sent in. And all of these things are like awesome accessories that they're selling on the Maker Remix market. So I'm really excited to share some of these things with you. People have worked really, really hard on everything that I have to show you. So this will be the first episode. And in this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at some products from Blackwell Engineering. So. Here we go, I'm just gonna go ahead and set that down here. We have a couple things, we'll take a look at this in a second, but this is the main package. Right off the bat, we've got a really nice fixture plate in here. Really excited to get it unboxed. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut this open right away and take a look at what's inside. So right off the bat here, we have a couple fence items, the original multi-fence marked on it there, made in the USA. And we'll go ahead and actually punch in so you guys can take a closer look at these fences before we move on. So here's the actual part itself, the original multi-fence, really, really nice mark on there. And of course the email address sales at blackwellengineering.com. Remember, you can find all of this stuff right on our own marketplace, Maker Remix. That's market.makerremix.com if you want to check that out. So we have two variable adjustable fences here and then some kind of standard fence items that are definitely able to be adjusted and positioned in multiple different ways. Really, really nice parts on these. So we have a right angle there and a couple different straight edges. So these are all really nice pieces here. So with that done, let's actually take a look at the fixture plate itself. So we'll just move these out of the way and we'll go ahead and get the rest of this open. Matt was nice enough to send me some stickers, not just a few, <laughs> there's actually like a ton of stickers in here. Thanks man, I appreciate it. We'll make sure we slap these pretty much on everything in the shop. And here it is. This is the extra large, the XL high density fixture plate. It really is a treat to look at. I mean, just check that out. And all of these mounting points go all the way through the plate. As you can see my hand through there. So you can really mount a whole slew of different things onto this plate and it's going to fit any standard Galvo laser work bed, which is super cool. It's heavy. It's got some weight to it for sure. This is not a thin piece of metal. I regret opening it with the box cutter now. I did just put this big line right down the edge of it. So maybe open it a little bit more carefully than mine if you like keeping your stuff nice. I might be able to sand that off. But yeah, this is it. This is the high density fixture plate right here. And he was nice enough to send along a set of machine screws too. So we have just the normal machine screws which we can use to bolt this down directly to our fiber laser bed, or we have thumb screws that we can use for jigging. So if we're putting a fixture together, we can use these thumb screws and these seem really nice as well. Very simple example of that would be if we just need a basic right angle, we can go ahead and screw that in with the thumb screw there, just like that. And we'll grab another one here and we can lock this into position with a second or even a third one. Now you can grab thumb screws like this from Amazon in larger quantities. They are not as nice as these, but they do make them. I definitely recommend at least picking up one set of the ones that he has on his site. But if you need like a whole bunch of them, if you're doing something really elaborate, I'll throw a link down in the description where you can get the larger boxes of them as well. But yeah, that's nice and secure. I mean, what else could you ask for it to do, you know? And the reason that we're starting with the XL high density fixture plate from Blackwell Engineering today is because we're actually going to be looking at a lot of different products that involve fixturing and we're going to use this plate as a demo board. So you're going to see the high density fixture plate come back over and over and over again while we look at some of the other products that we have to show off on our little marketplace mini series. But for now, here's everything he sent over. So again, we've got kind of our standard fences here. We've got some angled ones here and we've got our little screw set and the high density fixture plate. This is just, it's really, really gorgeous. So we'll get it mounted up onto a laser so you guys can see what it looks like 
when it's actually installed. All right, guys, so here we are with the HD fixture plate from Blackwell Engineering. And the first thing we need to do is actually get it installed. And you can see right off the bat, it's just allowing us so many more options than the default one that comes with most of these lasers from the factory. Installation's really simple. We just need to line it up over some of the existing mounting points on the breadboard of the laser that we're trying to install this on and screw it in. It really couldn't be easier. We do, since it's so large, we do need to make a little extra space. So we're gonna move the UV over a little bit here because we are putting this on the fiber today. And we're just gonna get over it and locate those mounting points in the actual plate underneath and get them lined up as best we can. And if you get the accessory kit, it actually comes with screws right out of the box. So you can go ahead and get these screwed in. I'm not sure what size these screws are. I think they're M6 by 10 and M6 by 12. So either way, it should go right in once we get the appropriate sized wrench. So here we go. We've just got our simple mounting screws here and we're just gonna slide them in and lock them down into position. So there's one. Remember when you're doing installs like this, you just wanna get them all loosely in at first, and then you can come back later and tighten them up in a crisscross pattern. So that's how we're gonna do this today. And then we're gonna move over here. We're gonna find the furthest one will give us the most stability. So we do have one lined up right here. So we'll go ahead and screw that one in. And our final one in the bottom left corner right here, we'll go ahead and get that one down in there as well. So now that those are in and we could continue if we wanted to, there are still these two mounting points also lining up. So if we really wanted to, we could add a fifth and a sixth. I don't really think that's necessary right now. We are gonna go through and tighten them up. So I'm just gonna get that in there and give it a nice snug twist. And that one will just loosen a little bit. We wanna go in a crisscross pattern here. So we're gonna do our bottom left now, nice and snug. And then this one, just a little bit tighter and then nice and snug in the bottom right here and nice and snug in the top left. And I mean, you can see it really does add an incredible amount of positioning options to what you're able to do right over the stock. And again, we do have these really nice thumb screws that came in with these as well. So if we needed to, we could come in here now and you're not limited to just those one inch spaced M5 slots. Now we can come in and we can place things in weird positions and at weird angles. We can come up and move this, you know, in, in this kind of an orientation here and get this one screwed in. And again, I love these thumb screws they are really, really nice. We'll go ahead and just throw a red one down here. And there we go. We have like kind of this bizarre right angle now. One of the other things that we didn't really talk about last time, he also includes these positioning pins. And I'll put that up to the camera so you guys can see that there. These are not threaded. They're just pins. And every other space on this board is the size that's required for one of these pins. So we can go in and then further pin things out as needed to hold some really interesting and uh, intricate shapes and patterns, which is super nice as well. Now, one of the coolest things about this plate, guys, on the HD, there's actually the high density version of this, 1,481 holes, which is crazy. That's between all of the threaded holes and all of the pin holes, 1,481 holes you get on this. And right now you guys are seeing this kind of set up in the horizontal position. And we do have a little overhang here on the left. We could center this up. We could go in the vertical position as well to give us a little bit more room to push back, which is really nice too. And again, I'm just showing you guys here, uh, all of these screw points are standard. I think some of them ship M6, but this one was actually M5. And so we're just tightening these down. That would be a great question to ask. Uh, and you can ask vendors questions before you make purchases on the Maker Remix market. So I definitely encourage you to reach out to Matt. He's a super friendly guy. He's super responsive. But yeah, so there you have it, guys. So again, we have even more of these fences here that he's included for more orientations. Not only is it standard, it's just incredibly versatile. And I, I honestly, I'd recommend this to literally everybody. I mean, this is just a dream come true. 
All right, guys, so there it is. You've seen the high density XL fixture plate from Blackwell Engineering. And again, this is gonna be seen over and over and over again in this mini series, because we are going to be checking out all the other fixtures that these creators have made on the plate so that we don't have to get up and do it on the laser every single time. This 400 by 300 millimeter plate has over 1400 mounting points for the pins and the M6 screws that you can get in something like the accessory kit here, which I highly recommend. And also while you're on Blackwell Engineering's site, picking up your HD fixture plate, make sure you grab some of these fences too. These fences are really, really high quality. Even the machine screws that come in the accessory kit, they have logos on them. Like you know that you're buying good screws when the screws have logos engraved into them. So I really, really love this kit. Shout out to Matthew for putting this together for me. I have zero buyer's remorse. This was worth every single penny. And I can't wait to check out some more stuff by other makers that are on the Maker Remix market. As always, guys, links to everything are down in the description. And remember, you're really helping to support the channel by supporting our new project over at the Maker Remix market. So go support our early adopters over there. Matthew at Blackwell Engineering is making some really great products, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. So thanks so much for watching this episode, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.